We continue our daily reflections on Dua Abu Hamza. The second part is this. Alhamdulillah alladhi ad'uuhu fayujibuni wa in kuntu bati'an hina yad'uuni All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the one that I call him and he answers. Very important aspect of relations is the ability to communicate. Sometimes because we are not able to communicate, our relation can be affected, it becomes weaker, or it can stop. Unfortunately, we see in families, in society, sometimes there is no good communication. But this becomes very important when you have relation with someone who is higher than you. For example, if there is a manager, there is a boss, there is a leader, you are working for a government, for example, head of government. If you are not able to communicate, then because you need them, you depend on them, then your requests can be ignored. Your condition can be, you know, going to worse. So it's very important to be able always to communicate and to receive reply. When it comes to relations of, this is worldly relation, but when it comes to relations of heart, that is even more important. If you love someone and that person would not listen to you or would not reply to your request, that would be very heartbreaking. Because when you love someone, then that's what gives you reason for living. You know, without your beloved, you think there is no point in anything. You have no desire in anything, no interest in anything. So it's very important to be able to make sure that we have this channel of communication and we receive answer. With respect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what is important is that He has promised us that whenever we call Him, He is there to listen and reply. Call me, I would answer. And there is no way that you call him and he would not answer. Hadith says, Man du'a, al-ijab. If you are able to call him, he would answer. But the problem is that first of all, how we are answering when he calls us. He says, you call me, I am available. <clears throat> But there are many things for which he has called us. Unfortunately, we are not <clears throat> replying or we delay. Since Imam Zainul Abedin is talking as a representative of believers in God, so he says, Wa in kuntu bati an hina yad'uni. I was a slow. Otherwise, there are many people, they never reply to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when it comes to mu'mineen, they are slow. So when Allah says, do something, for example, say your salat on time, we may delay. There are people who are in need, poor people who are in need. Even if we help them, we delay. We have to visit our family, kinship, parents, 
we delay if we do it. I'm not talking about the people who don't do it. So this is one problem, and we have to feel embarrassed that Allah is fast and quick in his reply, but we are slow. The second thing is that when it comes to calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not just verbal calling. Sometimes we call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but in reality we are not calling him. Sometimes, for example, I say, oh Allah, give me knowledge, but I don't study. This is not calling Allah for knowledge. Oh Allah, please forgive me, and then I keep committing sins. This is not calling him. This is just a show, just a lip service. It's not a reality. We have to really call him. Or for example, I say, oh Allah, please help me, but I put my trust in people. I put my trust in, uh, I don't know, groups or organizations or parties. No, I have to be honest when I call him. So if we improve these two things, first we make sure that we honestly call him, and secondly, we try to call him quickly, there is no worry about the other side, because he himself has said that, I am there for you, call me. Alhamdulillah, alladhi ad'uuhu fayyujibuni, wa in kuntu bati'an hina yad'uuni. All praises to Allah, who calls, who I can call, and he replies, even though I have been slow when he calls me. وَالْحَمْدُلِلَّهِ الَّذِي أَسْأَلُهُ فَيُعْطِينِي وَإِن كُنْتُ بَخِيلًا هِينَ يَسْتَقْرَضُنِي I ask him to give me, and he gives me. When I ask Allah to give me, I don't say, you know, lend me. When we ask from Allah, we don't say, you know, it's a loan. We say, just give and forget it. <laughs> but when he says, give me and you don't need to forget it, I will give you back. <laughs> so he doesn't say, just give me as a gift. He says, give me my own blessings and I will be giving you back. Even I will multiply for you. Then we become bakhil, we become miserly. So it's unfair. Like, if I always, for example, take from my father all the time and he gives me everything, one day he doesn't have money with him or one day he's ill, you know, he says, you know, give me some money, I will give you back. I don't give him money. All years he has been supporting me and even I know that tomorrow I need him again. <laughs> tomorrow I'm needing him again. But now one time he has asking me, I am not giving. وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي أَسْأَلُهُ فَيُعْطِينِي وَإِن كُنْتُ بَخِيلًا حِينَ يَسْتَقْرَضُنِي We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to include us among his true servants. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alam. Ya Allah, 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 Allah,